yours. Come on, don't be anything too bad. I fall in love with the third person I make eye contact with. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey Giselle. Oh, hey Jessica. Why are you not looking at me? Because my curse is I fall in love with the third person I make eye contact with. Well, just use one on me. I don't want to talk to your forehead all day. Okay. Is everything okay? Yep, everything's good. Wait, so what's your curse? Oh, I've down randomly once a day. That must be pretty annoying. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> hey, Giselle. <sighs> Shit. Hey, Jake. I already looked at two people. I have to be careful. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're good. I have to go, though. Giselle, what the heck? You just left me on the floor back there. Yo, are you okay? She can finally get the life she's always deserved. And they all lived happily ever after. That was such a pretty story. I'm gonna miss you so much. Good news, Lizzie. The couple that was here earlier has decided to adopt you. Yay, we're finally getting adopted. No, sweetie. I'm not coming with you. No, I'm not going anywhere without you. Lizzie! Don't worry, she'll be fine. She just has to get used to the idea. Have you said goodbye yet? No, not yet. Well, go get her and say goodbye. The couple is here to pick her up. Okay, I'll go get her. Lizzie, it's time to go. Your new family is here. Lizzie! <sighs> Come out, there's no time for games. They're waiting for you. No, Lizzie? Hey mom, what does this mean? I can't tell you sweetie, you have to figure it out for yourself. But be careful, because once you said it, you can't change it, okay? Okay. Hey Giselle, have you set your timer yet? No, I haven't. I want to know what it means first. It's the amount of people you're going to get down and dirty with. Oh, that's what it means? Good to know. You know, I kind of want to stay loyal to one boy, so... Hey Giselle, how many did you choose? Oh, I only chose one. How many did you choose? 300. 300? Well, damn. I got you this, by the way. Coca-Cola? No way, thank you. It's my favorite. Be sure to drink it, okay? Yeah, I will. Can I have a sip? You know what? Just take it. Thank you. A supermarket worker or my mom? I don't want my mom to die. Hey Giselle, so who did you choose? I chose a supermarket worker. It was either that or my mom. How about you? I chose my brother. You chose your brother? Yeah, it was either him or my boyfriend. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> no comment. Mom, I'm home. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I lost my job today, sweetie. Oh, mom, it's okay. We'll figure something out. I really do hope so. Hey, psst, Giselle, is everything okay? You seem a little sad today. My mom lost her job yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure she'll get a new one soon. Yeah, I hope so. Honey, guess what? I got a new job. <laughs> Seriously? What is it? Now, it's nothing major. I'm going to be a supermarket worker. Here's your weekly paycheck. Five bucks? But I work the entire week plus overtime. Yeah, but waitressing isn't really a dangerous job. Fine. Then I quit. No way, I just got paid 1K. A thousand dollars for what? I feed bears at the zoo. My dad gets paid 300,000 because he's a firefighter. I really need to find a more dangerous job. Hey Giselle. Not now, Jake. I'm looking for a more dangerous job. I have a job for you. You pretend to be my girlfriend. I don't think you heard me. I said a more dangerous job. I'll pay you 100k to pretend to be my girlfriend in front of my parents. Wait, so you want to pay me $100,000 to pretend to be your girlfriend for the night? Yes, exactly. Sweet, I'll take it. Be at my house at 7. How dangerous can it be to pretend to be someone's girlfriend? Hey, miss, you must be Giselle. Okay, babe, are you ready? Ready for what? 
Did you seriously forget? We have a dinner reservation at 6. That totally slipped my mind. I have to work tonight. I'll make it up to you. I love you. You better. I love you too. Babe, I'm home. Wait, why do you look so upset? It's 1 a.m., Jacob. You were supposed to be home three hours ago. Work ran later than I expected. I'm gonna go take a shower. Thanks for the great night. What an asshole. Hey, I'm back from work. Finally, you're home. Wait, you're not upset anymore? No, I realized I was overreacting. Sit, I made you some dinner. Oh my gosh, babe, this food is so good. What is it? Nothing too special, just meat. Well, what type of meat is it? I believe her name was... Olivia? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetie. Who's Richard? Oh, that's my boss. Wait, you have a crush on your boss? How the heck do you know that? Um, just a guess. I gotta get to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Caleb. Caleb, you know I love you, right? As a friend. Yeah, of course. Why? Just making sure you know I love you. As a friend. Okay. Hey, Jess. Hey, Bessie. Do you have a crush on Jake? You know he's my boyfriend. Um, no I don't. You know what? This friendship is over. Giselle, can I please see you after class? Yeah, sure thing. You wanted to see me, Mr. Fitz? Is this about my math grade? No, uh, this is about something a little more important than your math grade. Seriously? Is that even a question? Hey Giselle. Oh, hey Jessica. So, what were your choices? My choices were between my dad or a murderer. Please tell me you picked the murderer. Yeah, of course. Good morning, students. Unfortunately, today's class will be cancelled. It has come to our attention that somebody chose me to die. We're trying to figure everything out until further notice, class dismissed. I wonder who picked Mr. Betts. He's literally the sweetest person ever. Yeah, I really hope they get to the bottom of this. Giselle, Catherine, please report to the principal's office. The principal's office? Ooh, somebody's in trouble. Shut up, I didn't do anything. You wanted to see me, Principal Skinner? Yes, we found the person that picked Mr. Bates. Seriously? Who chose him? You did, Giselle. How could you? Okay, three, two, one. So, did you get any words, honey? I'm sorry, sweetie. Maybe next year. Hey, you guys, look. It's the loser that never talks. Did you get any words this year? I'll take that as a no. You're honestly so pathetic. Class, today we have a new student. You can go sit next to Giselle. Giselle, raise your hand. Hey, uh, you must be Giselle. Don't even bother talking to her. She's a mute. How about you talk to us instead? Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to decline that offer. Nobody wants to talk to a bunch of bitches anyway. Um, Giselle, do you want to sit with me at lunch? I wonder what they serve here. I hope the food is good. Hey, thank you for standing up for me back there. Wait, I thought you couldn't talk. I never said I couldn't talk. Wait, no way. The mute can talk? I don't really care how much it is because my daddy will just pay it for me. <laughs> Two million dollars? That's how much I paid for my Chanel bag yesterday. What a steal. Daddy? There's my little princess. I need you to write me a check for two million dollars. I gave you two million yesterday. That was for a Chanel bag. This is to meet my soulmate. Oh, well, of course. Anything for you, sweetie. Thanks, Dad. Hi, I'm here to cash in to meet my soulmate. Of course, how much do you owe? Two million dollars. Would you like to set up a payment plan? <laughs> a payment plan? Please, I'm not a peasant. My daddy wrote me this check. I'll go cash that in for you. Oh, you're back. Where's my soulmate? I'm afraid you gave me a faulty check. A faulty check? Yeah, as in it's fake. No, I don't think you understand. My daddy could buy you. Well, you better call your daddy to bail you out of jail then. <gasps> my father will hear about this. Come on, please give me a good score. A 4.5? That's not too bad. I can make that work. 
Good morning, Mom. So, what rating did you get? I got a 4.5. What? That's not good enough. Our whole family has five stars. No, I know, but I'm gonna get it up today, I promise. You better, because you know what's gonna happen if you don't. Yeah, I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Jessica, hey. We're wearing the same sweater. Oh, yeah, looks like we're twinning. No, you need to take it off. What do you mean? I'm not gonna take it off. If you don't want to, I'm gonna rate you a no, one. No, but... You should have listened. Giselle, you failed your math test again. I'm gonna have to give you a low score. I'm sorry. My parents are literally gonna kill me. Hey, is it true you need to get your rating up? Yeah. I can help you. Okay, honey, what role did you get? I got background character. It's very important that you don't overplay your role. Stick to it, okay? Pay no attention to yourself. Yeah. Okay, mom. Hey, so what role did you get? Background character, how about you? Great, me too. This is perfect. Now nobody's gonna pay any attention to us. Yeah, we're practically invisible. Come on, let's go. Class, please welcome our new student, Jake. Giselle, you're staring. I, um... Don't tell me you like the new guy. He's the main character. Whatever you do, you can't talk to him. No, you're right. I won't talk to him. Damn, watch where... Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, it's okay. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Jake. Please, it has to be vampire. A witch? But that's not even one of the options. Mom? Honey, please tell me you got vampire. Um, yeah, of course. Thank gosh, I'm so happy you didn't get werewolf. What would happen if somebody got witch? Witches don't exist, sweetie. They're just a myth. Right. I'm going to school. Hey, so did you get vampire? Hey, yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, I did too. That's great. Did you hear? Somebody got an odd creeper. Odd? What do you mean odd? Somebody got witch and now everyone's looking for them. I'd hate to be that person. <laughs> yeah, I really feel bad for that person. Giselle, did you hear? They're doing a creature check today. <laughs> Wait, they're doing a creature check? Yeah, but we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, thankfully we're safe. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it, what do you want? I have to go.